Going through my photos, I'm revisiting this roof I did section three years ago next month. What we found here was a lot of additions added onto this house. This torch down modified granule roof, while it looked great, wasn't properly installed. It didn't have enough of heat to attach it to the deck, and the previous homeowner ran the sheeting or plywood in the wrong direction. They ran it with the rafters instead of against the rafters. This picture here is four or five days after the rain. So while it looked good, it had issues. I was working by myself, so I decided I would work from the top down. Only doing nights, uh, evenings, and weekends, I didn't have a lot of time dedicated to it. This allowed me to put ice and water shield over it, and then overlap that onto the old roofing, as you can see here. This transition point is where one addition stops and another one picks up. It really took a lot of heat and suffered a lot of damage. I didn't really like the transition, so when I sistered my um, two by sixes in there, as you could see, I really leveled everything out and made for a smoother transition. I think this is the best of both worlds. Um, it's going to be easier on the roofing and the plywood and also add um, extra strength to the system. I think that turned out really well. It struck a nice balance between strength and value. There will be a photo coming up soon that will uh, illustrate um, the plywood that I put in there. If you look at the top of this picture, you see the ice and water shield overlapping the plywood. And then my TPO stopping there it actually rolls over that also the nice thing about tpo is you put screws and plates around the perimeter that secures it essentially it makes for a real durable tarp waterproofing and i welded the seams and did as much waterproofing as i could going along i laid a couple sheets of plywood for the tear out and kept moving it onto the newer section of roof roofing being careful not to penetrate it even though it's a durable roof it's actually kind of difficult to uh poke a hole in it but i did have a lot of weight sitting up there here's one of the final results uh this prior to my cleanup i still had a little bit of work to do on the perimeter you see on the white hand side it looks like a six inch strip i used a 10 square roll which is 10 feet high by 100 feet long this minimalized my seams uh, by doing that the roof is roughly 33 feet high and 13 to 14 feet wide put new drip edge on it screwed and plated it welded it tucked that material up that sidewall put a um, cover tape over the drip edge one side of that has a sticky membrane that you primer with an adhesive roller it and then you weld the one edge to the TPO here's it going up the wall I think it turned out beautiful take, take care